Hello everybody, I'm Giovanni from Siren and today I want to give you a preview of the entity resolution capabilities which are coming in Siren 10.3. What is entity resolution? It is the AI ability to recognize that two or more records might in fact be referring to the same real world entity. This can be a person, it can be a company, whatever. But it also means recognizing that two things might be separate but they are actually significantly related. If it's done right, it is effectively a data superpower because it's very, very central to a lot of use cases in law enforcement, know your customers, fraud, etc. The Siren Entity Resolution System is capable of matching across data sources, so database tables, Elasticsearch, etc., schemas, languages, and cultural conventions. For example, it knows of dozens of ways to write addresses and phone numbers. It is also real-time and incremental, meaning that you, when you add a new entity, you will immediately know if it matches. And now, quite a mouthful, it is a non-monotonic fuzzy reasoner. Effectively, what this means is that it can revise what it knows about entities based on new information. In a minute, I will be showing you a demo of what the result is. But before that, let me show you what happens in slow motion as the data flows into the system. Let's assume that we have three records and because they pretty much match on multiple attributes, it could be the phone number and whatnot, the system will naturally perform fuzzy matching and, you know, uh, go across the differences and still recognize that it is the same entity. So fine, it does that. Uh, there can be then more records that are added. And for example, in this case, we do have a uh, interesting match. There is an email, so it's kind of strong, but it's clearly not the same entity. So what the system will do is we'll create a new entity and simply say uh, there is a relationship. And this is a case of discovered relationship. There could be situations in which we add a record and we disclose what their relation is. Like in this case, we're adding Kim Smith and we're saying, look, it's the spouse of three. In this case, the system will add the new entity and will simply mark down the disclosed relationship. There can be other situations in which there is a date that is uh, matching, but because the name is very, very common, there could be a lot of robbers meet or Bob's meet, which are born on the same date. So it's really not sufficient for the system to say that they are the same. However, the system will put them next to each other and is ready to revise the information as new records are coming in. In this case, we also get a very ambiguous record. So yeah, we don't really know much about this one. So it will create this one. It could match with this. It could match with that. We'll see later. Now, at this point, we get a really interesting record. Now, we get a record which has a bunch of attributes which effectively work as a bridge between the previously disconnected one. So now we have enough evidence to conclude that even record number six, that previously we put separately, it is actually belonging to the same cluster. And that's super, super powerful. Now, the same thing can happen the opposite way. Like we could get a record, like in this case, which actually makes us understand, thanks to a very strong attributes, that these were actually not the same entity. This was a Bob, a Robert Smith Sr., which was a different person. In fact, he has a different, uh, different uh, birth date. So at this point, given that we had the disclosed uh, relationship with three, then even three will change its assignment. So effectively, it has now created two clusters. One is junior and one is senior, and things are correct. Now, follow me to the next step. The next step is actually quite important. Now, let's assume that we get information that there is a fraudster, a money launderer called Bob Joan. Now, this, there's nothing in here which is strongly matching any of those records. However, thanks to the fact that the previous records are now all together, the system will match number 10 with all the other in the same cluster. So what we get is that our money launderer is matched with all the records in all the other systems. Thank you for following me so far. And now let's take a look at the implementation within Siren. In this installation, we have connected Siren to two reference datasets and to streaming news. 
Here on the side, we have the Thomson Reuters Refinitiv dataset, which has about 5 million companies connected to 5 million executives. We then have Crunchbase with 160,000 companies, investments and investors. Finally, we have the dashboard which contains the result of the entity resolution. In this case, the system has found 9 million entities, which is a number coherent with those above. In the data model, we see that the Thomson Reuters data does not share identifiers with Crunchbase if not via the new entity resolution cubes, which the system has created automatically. Let's now explore some examples in the Link Analysis tool. I have now added 27 records to the graph. I can simply select all and expand. And they will aggregate around the concepts of resolved entities. The records have compatible but different labels. Siren ER used the addresses and other pieces of metadata to determine that it was a safe match. In this case, the company is clearly the same, but there is something more. We see that there is a 4 here, so there is another entity which somehow is connected. In this case, what the system is telling us is that there is another entity which is strongly tied with an attribute such as the phone number. And if we look at this, uh, Link Building Works, uh, we actually find that the phone number is the same and the company is also a web company, so an investigator might actually be quite interested in seeing what's the story here. In this other example, we see many more matches. Let me expand a couple of times. What we get is quite interesting because on the one hand, we can see that the system has matched the same company from different databases. Like this one is the Thomson Reuters uh, dataset and here is the TechCrunch. So it is using address and many other things, of course, the similarities in the name to actually resolve to the same entity. But at the same time, it also has found other companies which are strongly connected. Like Hedge Covest here, it's clearly quite connected. Also, there are others which apparently would have nothing to do with the original one that in fact share the same very specific address even though it's spelled differently. So, to conclude, I'm not claiming there is anything particularly suspicious here about this company. However, I believe that it is easy to see how Siren ER represents a superpower for investigators across many many fields.